Hi guys, so I am back with a little journal that I just finished and this is for my second uh, winner for my little giveaway that I just had and she wanted the, oh excuse my nails, I have been busy at work. Uh, she wanted her little journal to be made with uh, Seneca Pond's Crafts uh, Vintage Mercantile. I believe that's the one. So this is what I came up with. And it's a soft cover journal and fabric covered. And I used uh, all gold stitching and I used the gold corners and I have some German uh, glass glitter to accentuate the pretty roses. This kit is absolutely beautiful. I used one of the labels from the kit there. For the spine, I made a little little tassel just because I felt like it just needed a little something more. And put some pretty rosettes. I think they went really good with this kit. And the back looks like this. I love this kit. It's got that, uh, like that latch. Beautiful. I used some ivory seam binding. And let's get right into it. So, the first uh, page, I use this envelope. And it just holds this little card. And then I left it open in the back with this book belongs to. I always put that in my books. And look at that paper. It's stunning. I love it. And then I did uh, sew some trim on some of the pages. This is the trim that I used throughout. Pretty, uh, and I stitched it on the pages. So that is that one. Then I made a little book page here, um, not a book page, a uh, library pocket, and I used one of Seneca Pond's newest uh, library cards. So pretty with the bird, and that just goes in there. I always have to, <laughs> a hard time putting these in because I am behind the camera. I need to figure out a better setup. And then I made a little bookmark here. And I just put that there. Ugh, look at that. Beautiful. I made a little uh, parchment paper baggie. And this holds just this little tag from the kit. And backed it with coffee dye paper and stitched all around it. And that just goes in there. Lots of space for journaling. And she could add more things in there too. I punched some of the pages with my Martha Stewart. Some vintage book pages. I have some tracing paper more punch out this is open I just didn't add anything but it's open it's a tuck look at that it's gorgeous I used every element from the kit uh, here I have one of my book page magnetic envelopes and I just trimmed it um, it's nothing in it but you can put something in it stitched some trims and then has a little pocket here from the kid and a little tag that I just attached this little flower and distressed the back and that just goes in there 
for journaling. More punch out. Doily. Another little pocket from the kit with a tag. And this is a glassine bag and I just added some of the page, you know, I cut out a page and just added it to that for extra journaling and give the bag some substance. There's nothing inside the bag. So I want her to have room for adding her own things. And this is Edith Holden uh, page. Look at that image. It's a gorgeous kit. This is um, Seneca Palm Crafts uh, ledger paper. It's gorgeous. This is the kit she picked and good taste. I made one of uh, my, I love making these, out of my parchment paper. Uh, this is parchment paper that I put in my oven when I'm uh, coffee dyeing my paper and baking it. And it gets that tinge from the coffee, uh, you know, that seeps through. And I hate to throw it away, so I just turn it into pockets because it has that coffee staining and I just embellish it and, sew, and stitch around it and make that pocket. And I love it. This is um, another little tag and I use one of the tabs that come with the kit and just made a little pocket and this is open here and then in the bag itself. Another doily, another page from the kit. Another envelope from the kit. Another tag. More um, trim. This is more graph ledger paper from Seneca Pond. And I'll link the this kit in the description uh, box below. This is an envelope that I just uh, put in the middle to hide my, my stitching. And I just have some mulberry paper and a vintage button that my friend Aaliyah sent me. Thank you, Aaliyah. And this is a Crafty Irina pocket. And I just put some trim and uh, it has a little pocket here that holds some of these little cards from Seneca Pond and I just put those in there and then this pocket holds this one these are good for journaling like sideways or she can add these on the side if she wants to when you glue it here and here and use it as a side tuck that goes in that pocket and then on this top pocket you have this one also from the kit and I backed it with coffee dyed paper and then I also left it open in the back and this holds this from the kit, these little file folder thingies. So there's more room back there. More graph. Ah, look at this page. Isn't that stunning? And another tag. Another pocket from the kit. Doily. Tag from the kit. And I just did a flip and this cut apart is from the kit too. And I just cut apart and put a doily there and did a flip. And I love this. It's like the wood with the roses on it and then the little girl there. It's just gorgeous. 
more graph from the kit. Look at this one. This collection is stunning. Edith Holden. This is the other side of the glassine bag. And, you know, it's open for putting things in. And this flips open for more journaling. And I just use a cut apart to, that says mercantile down there. That's from the, another page from the kit. Doily punched out there. More sheet music. And this is from the kit too. Look at their little tag. I got glue on my fingers because I'm almost done with another journal that I am working as a custom order. It's a celestial one. More from the kit. Tracing paper. Vintage poetry book. And I made another little pocket here. And these are from the kit too. Two tickets with a shoe and this one the big tickets too ladies chocolate and lace <laughs> and we get to the end and this is another flip Get that cute little cut apart from the collection, and then it holds these little files. And I just made this little tag here. It was a off off cut. And then we get to the back, and I have another pocket. And I made another little tag. And that is it. So I hope you like it. And I will be mailing this out to you. Uh, most likely tomorrow, latest on Thursday. I hope you like it, Charlotte. And um, thanks for entering the giveaway. And yeah. That is your little journal. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be coming back with the other journal that I am working on. It's almost done. And yeah. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.